I accidentally triggered a fan base. I posted this video a couple of weeks ago talking about my experience reading my last in Book of the Fallen and oh boy did I spark some heated conversations. Let's read some of the comments shall we? And I just finished editing the video. I really do apologize for all the obsessive hand waving. I am working on it. I promise I'll keep my hands more calm for future videos. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Why do you pronounce it like that? It sounds like you're saying molasses. I bet that's the right pronunciation as well. Whether it's right or not, I hate it so much. <laughs> I love this. My favorite series is Molasses Book of the Fallen. Well, I used to say Malasan, but since I watched this video, expansion of the Malasan Empire. Malasan Empire. I've started saying Malasan Book of the Fallen. I mean, if Ericsson says Malasan, then I'll try my best to pronounce it that way. Simple minds. I'm guessing you are not talking about the band. It's definitely comments like this that make people less willing to check out the series. Unfortunately, most of the comments on that previous video were very respectful and understanding, so this does definitely not reflect the whole Malazan fanbase. But the reason why I was worried about making that video was because of comments like this. I agree 100% with everything you said, especially since we read the exact same amount of the series. I also received many comments like this. It was quite nice to see that I wasn't the only one that had had such an experience reading the series. Just keep reading. If you can get through the first three books, you'll start to appreciate it. And by the second half of the series, you'll start to really like it. And by the end, you will love it. Or at least that's what happened to me. Now, I appreciate this comment because DJ is obviously trying to just be helpful, but this also highlights one of the major flaws or obstacles with getting into Malasin. I mean, you're essentially asking readers to just read 2,500 pages just to get to a point where you start to appreciate the books and you have to read 5,000 pages before you actually start to enjoy it? That is an incredibly challenging selling point. Hey man, I have this really great recommendation for you. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's called Malazan Book of the Fallen. The only thing is you have to first read 2,500 pages before you start to appreciate it, and only around 5,000 pages before you start to enjoy it, but man, it's so worth it. 2,500 pages? So you're telling me I have to read 5,000 pages before I start to enjoy the series? I think I'll skip this one. Also, a special thanks to my patrons who support my passion for books. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. I haven't read it. I picked it up from the library, read the first two pages and was lost. So I stopped reading. Well, to be honest, if you pick up almost any book and only read two pages, then you will probably be confused. Malazan is complicated, but I would actually argue that the first two pages aren't too bad. I can't believe my mom has read the whole series. What a flex. Wait, what? That is actually really cool. My mom certainly hasn't read Molasses. When every comment has the read more button. Oh, ain't that the truth. I was quite blown away by uh, the sheer amount of long comments I received on that video. Are we the same person? Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm not sold on trying this. Well, that was my intention behind the video, but I'm glad I could help you learn a bit more about this series. Malasan is terrible. Well, I definitely wouldn't call it terrible, but it's definitely not for everyone. The only trigger I'm getting is from you stopping mid book two. I beg you not to. Book two gets so unbelievably good in the back half. Well, it seems like I did trigger quite a lot of people with stopping mid book two, because apparently Deadhouse Gate is insane. As I stated in that video, I might return to Molasses someday, but I just don't have the mental capacity at the moment. I don't dislike Gardens of the Moon because it's complex. I dislike it because it's badly written. Wow. Deadhouse Gate was so much better, but I felt little to no connection to most of the characters. I got about 100 pages into book 3 before I decided that these books are not for me. I love these comments. It's either this is badly written, or this is the greatest thing that has ever happened to literature. However, I will say that it's very unfortunate that Gardens of the Moon is such a difficult and challenging book to get into. And regarding the character work, then that is one really interesting thing about Ericsson's characterizations. Not only is it difficult to know if you should be rooting for this or that character, but you don't even know if you can always trust the narrator. I found it incredibly challenging to feel any sort of connection to any of the characters, but some people swear that Ericsson's character work is some of the best out there. You are really just at the beginning of the books and you haven't even started the journey. It's like reading Lord of the Rings and Frodo and Sam just left the Shire. The first book is difficult to understand, but it works as intended. You are not supposed to understand the world at first. Book 2 was easier for me to follow. Book 3 is fantastic and it gave me a good understanding of the world and where the main story might be heading. Lol, book 3 is kinda where you understanding dawns, cause you kinda come full circle. 
kinda. I use kinda very loosely. Again, this is one of the most difficult selling points of molasses. I read 1200 pages of the series, but apparently the journey hasn't even started yet and you are not supposed to understand the world at this point. I'm not saying that any author should be able to make you understand the world within the first 1200 pages, but it is definitely challenging convincing people to read this series when you are not supposed to understand almost anything by book two. This is the roast I've been waiting for. Um, thank you, I guess. I was part of a group of friends who started reading about a month ago. I'm the only one left. It's difficult, but I feel I'll be rewarded by going through with it. Well, something similar happened to Mike's book reviews read along, like 95% of readers dropped off or something like that. I would recommend going on Reddit and finding someone who can help you push through to the end. The biggest hurdle to understanding Malassan is your own expectations. The second is patience. If you keep going, it gets easier, not because the material is simpler, but because your brain gets used to processing information the way Ericsson wants you to feed it to you. My advice would be to take breaks between books, but don't give up. This definitely highlights one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy the series that much. I don't see myself as an impatient person, but you definitely need much more patient reading Malassan than any other series I've ever come across in fiction. You kind of have to come to a place where you are okay with reading very slow compared to what you are used to. It's almost either read a thousand pages of Malassan or three thousand pages of something else because Malassan is just so dense. The amount you use the word apparently when describing this series was almost as if you haven't read it. It's what I was thinking when listening to you at the beginning of the video. As for have to be super smart, wait what? As for have to be super smart to get handle on this series, not true. This is the first book series I've ever picked up due to TV has become awful and I'm done with watching shows that turn garbage. I decided to find a complete book series that suited me. I found Malassan. Guard of the Moon blew my mind in many ways. Well, I use the word apparently since I've only read one and a half books in the series and I barely understood what I was reading. But I'm really happy that you found a replacement for garbage TV and you found a series that suits you. I definitely don't have a PhD, but I do love Malassan. Sorry, your video slightly triggers me. You knew you were supposed to go with the flow, but stopping after every chapter for research doesn't really sound like going with the flow. Doing that with any book would sort of ruin your connection with the characters and storyline in my opinion. I mean, this is definitely a very fair point. I didn't do what I was supposed to do and go with the flow, but when you barely understand what is going on, how do you just go with the flow? If I ever reread the series, then I'll try my utmost to just go with the flow and focus on the overarching themes over my understanding. This is absolutely valid and honestly, if the reading experience doesn't bring you joy and it leaves you feeling rub like rubbish, it ain't worth it. I have a couple of experiences exactly like yours. Life's too short and we should stick with things that we're passionate about. You do you mate. What a wholesome comment and I definitely believe that you're correct about the importance of having joy while reading books. Some readers will find immense joy in reading Malice and Book of the Fallen and just some won't. There's really only one way to figure out if this series is for you and that is by giving Malaz and Book of the Fallen a try. Even though Malassan didn't work for me, I would still recommend everyone giving at least the first book a try. So that is it. Have you read Malassan? Did you agree with any of these comments? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.